Hey, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome once again out to Beverly Hills Golf Course. Today is a somber day. The reason I say that is because today is aeration day. It is probably every golfer's least favorite day of the year. You know what I just thought of? What? We brought all the equipment out, and we didn't do like a cool intro. No, that's your fault. Let's go do Man. a cool intro. I don't really want to take this back into the garage to go get it. I am not going back into the so garage. So let's just, let's just go get this broom in a real cool way. Welcome back again, again, to Beverly Hills Golf Course. I am joined, of course, by the one, the only, Scuba Steve. Now, today is my least favorite day because of the amount of work it takes. Any greenskeeper out there can verify that uh, any time that you're pulling cores off a of green and aerating, uh, it is a ton of manual labor. And it's double the labor for us because we don't have the equipment that, other, that golf courses have. Well, I was going to say it was double because I have to also film it what are you laughing at that's <laughs> that makes it really hard yeah that means I'm lifting while you're running the camera that's what that means um, but anyway let's go ahead one of these days we're gonna do an entire vlog where he runs the camera the entire time I'll just go today it is very breezy out here it usually is this time of year we're actually tucked up behind some pine trees you can see the green way off there in the distance uh, it is 25 mile an hour winds at least gusting 100 mile an hour winds it feels like 100 uh so we're gonna try to do most of our audio recording kind of up in this nook and cranny to give you some updates as far as where we're at in the process what it is we're doing and give you kind of that step by step that i know you guys all love to hear about i don't really want to delay this any further let's get to work yep i'm ready what are you right, wearing you... it's my work shirt yes we have work shirts but you have holes Look, it's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a freaking work shirt. Just right in your belly button. Belly button's right here. <laughs> you're, you're crazy. You have Friday's golf shirts. Just put them on. I don't want to get dirty. This is a work day. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I do want to give a huge shout out to Jeffrey from AccuProducts. He gave us uh, both of these pieces of equipment right here because he he reached out to me and he asked me if there's anything he could help us with. I said we were getting ready to aerate our green, so he gave us a sand leveler and a broom here to help uh, push cores and push sand, and it is greatly appreciated. So thank you, Jeffrey from AccuProducts. I'll link both of these uh, their products down in the description below, so if you want to check them out or need them for some reason, that's where they'll be. So thanks. What's kind of the first deal here? First deal is we fire that thing up and start pulling cores. That's it? We're ready? We're ready as far as I'm concerned. We've done everything else. Well, really we haven't done anything, but... <laughs> <laughs>
just got done pulling cores out of the green and what I have here in my hand is one of those cores and you can see let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer to this right there you can see that about an inch and a half of it is all sand now when we first started it all looked like the bottom portion right here yep. it was all clay and so over the years from top dressing and aerating we have made this green I would say and we've given it about an inch and a half sand base which yep. is awesome the reason that that sand is good is because it allows for water penetration it allows the air to get down into the soil which I'm told is a good thing and then also it gives it the ability to uh, to grow a lot thicker as well dude that hole's getting bigger oh my gosh that's because you worked me too hard <laughs> The work starts now. What do we have to do now? We got to sweep all this up. Uh, then we got to pour sand in all these holes. But the good news is, is Kurt just showed up. Yeah, he probably is going to get out of here as fast as he got here. <laughs> after he's seen what we're doing. What's he doing? Is he throwing him back on the green? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You better run. So a lot of people ask us well, what we do with these cores after we're done with them. And uh, typically in the past when we would pull them, they were primarily clay. So we would just throw them off in the field. But now, since they're like 75% sand, uh, we're gonna make a big pile of these so we can use them for future projects. Like if we uh, wanna build sand. another green. <laughs> so sand, right? Let's do it. Get the sand. I'm Drop ready it. to go. That was the absolute fastest we have ever pulled cores off of that green well the acu acra accumation <laughs> acu products okay acu products i want to thank you for the core remover and just that's like two or three different game changers you've sent us oh yeah that are like makes our job so much easier here i'm not 100 percent sure what it's called i think it's a core pusher I don't care what it is, but it is now. It works. Yeah. <laughs> in the past, you'd seen us use a drop spreader to throw sand down on the green with. We don't do that junk anymore. Now, because we're like, we, we've got veteran tips. We just toss the sand out there like animals, and then we spread it. We got us a sand spreader now. <laughs> That's you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Speaking of, grab a bucket. Here we go. Ah. All right, everybody, every single hole is nope. filled in. It's fine, leave it. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. All right, everybody, now every single hole in this green is filled in. We are finally done with our aeration day. Thank you, as always, for watching, and please 
go find your greenskeeper and just tell them thank you because I cannot imagine doing this on 18 greens. This is one green and it took us... But we did it different than a golf course would. But it you didn't did, answer but the question. It did answer the... Five hours. It took us five hours to do this. Now we are working with like caveman tools. We don't have all the, the cool toys that everyone no else bells has. bells and whistles here. Uh, sand spreader would help us out. But I will say that that core pusher, oh, game changer. Awesome. So we, we had the core pushers. We never used them before. We had no idea what they were for. Cement leveler. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what it was. He no, had, had one. one. I bought it with the Holy Grail. But now we have two of them. It made the biggest difference, not only in pushing the cores off the green, but also in spreading the sand out. It yep. was a humongous help. Yep. Um, if we had a sand spreader, it, that's the one thing we don't have that would make this go much faster. Yep. yep. But uh, anything else? Nope. I have gotten a lot of questions about the new tee boxes. I will make an update video on that here shortly. They look good. Let's just leave it at that. It's a nice little teaser uh, video to come. But uh, thanks as always for watching. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, we will see you later. <sighs> good, right? You got a sandwich? Why you want a sandwich? I got an egg sandwich. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>